let's talk about medications for that painful recovery. Uh, we know about the op opioid crisis, so how do you make them comfortable and keep that in mind as well, doctor? So it's pain is a part of my life every day. And I don't mean personally, but practically every patient that I see in the office is in pain. Like we talked at the beginning. Sure. That's the reason why they come to see me. They either know something is terribly wrong because they had a fracture, but even if they don't know that something is going on in their body, they just know that they feel pain. And pain is a very, very, very difficult thing because I'll see patients who have something that looks like it should be incredibly painful and they say, no, no, I feel pain, there was something weird, that's why I'm coming to see you. And then other people who are in agony every single day or agony since their injury. Um, opioids have a role. And in trauma specifically, and this is why, you know, in the state of Florida, we just had some laws pass about opioids and being able to prescribe them, and rightfully so, restrictions on prescribing them. Uh, but in the scenario of trauma and fractures, they play an important role to get you through a period. Sometimes that period is a day. Sometimes that period is three days. And it is my job and my responsibility to help you get through that without feeling, without having you feel the need to continue to take them for a long period of time. And that's really just that balance. And the balance of knowing that maybe the patient that uh, is coming in for a hip fracture may need that medication a little longer than maybe the one that had the uh, broken ankle. I'm just using those two examples since we talked about them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it, it's very, very dependent on the injury. And rightfully so, the laws that pass are give doctors some leeway to be able to make clinical decisions and make determinations as to how long a patient should need this. But I do think it's a very huge wake-up call in that we need to keep in mind every single visit, do you truly need this? And even though sometimes patients want it because they don't want to feel pain, the last thing that a patient wants, and I counsel patients on this all the time, is to now have a big problem in the future or down the line because of, because of what's going on.